So um, we are now down to our fourth fundamental principle out of the six fundamental principles, which is um, the fourth fundamental principle is that the, the Newton's second law of motion, which is um, the the law of acceleration. So, ano nga ba ibig sabihin nito? So it states that di ko na siya ah. It states that the acceleration of the object is directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. So, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin nito? So, sinabi dito na yung acceleration ng object uh, directly proportional siya sa net force. So, i ibig sabihin na kung tataas yung acceleration, hindi tataas yung net force. At saka kung bababa yung acceleration, Bababadin yung net force. And it is inversely proportional to the mass of the object. So, kung tatas yung acceleration, ibig sabihin malit yung mass. Tsaka, kung mababa yung acceleration, ibig sabihin malaki yung mass. So, ito tatandaan lang natin to. Na, basically, it is what it is. Na, um, okay. Formula. <laughs> yung net force, ano nga ba yung formula na ito? Diba, al alam naman natin siguro na F net is, equ is equal to MA, right? Sulat natin. F net is equal, is equal to MA. So, kung... Thank you, Miss. May hayos. Can I help please? Okay. Miss, may hayos. So, kung... Um, wait muna. Okay, tapos na mag-page. So, kung i-rearrange natin ito, alam naman natin kung paano mag-rearrange, right? So, we will, um, makukuha natin, acceleration is equal to F net over M. Tama ba? So, dito natin makikita kung Acceleration is directly proportional ba siya sa F net? Tsaka inversely proportional ba siya sa M? So, let us set values. Let's say, for instance, yung F net natin is equal to 2. Tsaka yung mass natin is equal to 3. Parang ganun, di ba? So, A natin is 2 third, di ba? Tama. Or 6.6 to third. Tama ba? <laughs> Bobo ko na sa math. Two third. Yeah. 6.6. .6. So, paliliitan na. Paliliitan natin yung F net, okay? So, let's say for instance, yung, yung, yung net force natin, 1. So, magiging one third ang a natin, which is equal to zero. It's not six point six here. It's zero point six repeating. So dito magiging zero point three repeating. So yung a one natin f net one is equal to ano ay kaniya two di ba? Tapos f net two natin one. So eto yung a two natin. Eto yung a one. So Nakikita natin dito na yung F net natin 2, makakakuha ka tayo ng value na 0.66. Kung F net natin 1, makakuha tayo ng value na sa acceleration na 0.33. So, it is very visible na yung acceleration is directly proportional sa net force. Since like, as you have noticed, na kung pinaliit natin yung value ng net force, lumiit yung value ng acceleration natin. Tsaka nung pinalaki natin yung net force, lumaki din yung value ng acceleration natin. So, how about um, the, uh, this one? Na yung acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of the object. So, gawin natin to ulit. Um... F is equal to MA. Um, A is equal to F over M. Um, let's set, uh, let us set value for F 
as 1 and m uh, is equal to 2. So, kung f natin 1 and m natin is equal to 2, makakuha to yung value na 0.5, right? So, yan yung m1 natin, a1. So, how about m is uh, m is equal to 1? So, magiging 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. So, as you can see right here na kung palalakihin natin yung mass natin, liliit yung acceleration. While kung paliliit natin yung mass natin, tataas yung acceleration natin. So, acceleration and mass is um, direct, uh, inversely proportional. So, I, I guess yan lang man din naman siguro yung um, gist neto. So, wait muna, erase muna natin to guys. Ha. So, uh, we will have an example on Newton's second law of motion, which is law of acceleration. So, uh, assume that this is a surface. Um, meron tayong box dito. Okay. <laughs> example natin palagi yung box. But anyway, so yung box natin is uh, may bigat na 3 kilos. Nag-apply tayo ng force dito na 10 newtons. So, we're expecting uh, na mamove natin yung box papunta sa dito na side, right? So, hahanapin natin ang acceleration ng box na to. So, paano nga ulit yung formula? Alam naman natin na F is equal to MA. And F, uh, F is equal to 10. Um, mass natin is equal to 3. Uh, this is newtons. This is kilograms. And wala tayong acceleration. We just hahanapin natin. So, i -re rearrange natin yung ating formula. So, acceleration is equal to F over M. Where F is equal to 10 and M is equal to 3. So, ang makakakuha tayo ng value na 3.3 repeat uh, 3.33 repeating, diba? Wait, sa so tama ba? Yeah, makakakuha tayo ng value na, value na 3.33 repeating. So, ano nga ba yung unit natin? Meter per second squared. Tama? Kasi, dito sa ibabaw, newton over kilogram. And we all know na newton is kilogram meter per second squared. So, kilogram meter per second squared over kilogram, makakancel yung kilogram. We're left with meter per second squared over 1. Or, plainly, meter, meter per second squared, which is the unit natin dito. So, and take note lang guys na yung force and yung acceleration same yung direction nila okay same yung direction nila <laughs> yun lang yung <laughs> gusto kong isabi and also assume natin na frictionless yung surface so kapag frictionless yung surface yung box natin, patuloy lang siya magmumove on this direction. Yan yung sinabi ng Newton's first law of motion, right? Which is um, the law of inertia. So, how about my friction dito? Hindi, per, uh, hindi frictionless yung ano natin. Hindi frictionless yung surface natin. Let's say, for instance, rough surface to. So, eventually, um, magsa-stop yung ano. Kasi like, may friction na mag o sa kanya. So, also guys, um, gusto ko lang din itong idagdag na when velocity and force is in the same direction, the object will speed up. And also, vice versa, if not, uh, uh, kung hindi siya same direction. And also, if ang velocity and force is um, perpendicular, hindi magsispeed up yung object natin. 
pero uh, magchange siya ng direction. So, let's say for instance, um, ano ba ito? Erase muna natin. Ah. Right. Uh, hindi na to straight na mga ano guys. Hindi na to straight na mga surfaces. Um, ay yung sinabi na what if kung ito yung mass natin tapos like yung force natin tsaka yung V natin are uh, is a um, perpendicular. So hindi siya mag-speed up but rather magro-rotate siya. So saan siya magro-rotate? So, um, the object um, will rotate, will turn, <laughs> rather. Um, ito yung V. So, saan siya magta-turn? So, yung rotate. Hindi rotate yung term eh. So, magta-turn siya sa direction ng force. So, pag ganyan siya. So, let's say for instance, yung force natin pag ganito, yung velocity natin pa dito. So, we're, uh, we're expecting na yung object natin, magro-rotate siya in this direction. Right. But this direction, di ba? So, I hope na-gets nyo. <laughs> Wala lang. So, I hope na-gets na -gets nyo, guys. And mag-proceed na tayo sa pang-lima natin principle, uh, fundamental principle. So, thank you.